What a world. <laughs> it's eternal authenticity broadcasting live, tuning in, you know, just with a deep message. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a celestial light messenger. You know what I'm saying? And, like, anyways, you know, I get it. They say the world is a stage, this and that. Sometimes people are like, you know, they feel like it's meaningless, it's pointless, you know, yeah, okay, I, we get it, you know, we got to give our life meaning, you know, and at the same time, you know, I guess it's awesome when we can embrace it, you know what I'm saying, like, not just, you know, have no type of purpose or drive or passion or inspiration or anything in type of life, in life, you know, like, it's amazing for us when we can be able to, like, have just like a drive within us, you know, a passion, a faith or whatever within us, you know, it doesn't mean we have to be, you know, thinking someone's going to come down from the sky and rescue us because, you know, I've been there and (laughs) I was doing that for years and nothing was happening, nothing was changing. So anyways, you know, what I have noticed is that like whenever we just so-called trust the universe, you know, and like we see kind of what's up on some deeper stuff, you know, like I don't know all about astrology and numerology. I have done some research, some good research and gathered some good things and seen some connections. And at the same time, you know, it's deeper than can even be expressed, you know, and I don't know. I just met, I saw a close, I saw a homie. I hadn't seen him years, to be honest, like today. And we talked for a long time about some deep stuff. And then, you know, another being that, you know, I'm growing a connection with, you know, it's just some deep stuff. You know, life is our own movie. So, like, don't ever feel uninspired. You know, don't ever feel consistently down and out, you know, because, you know, when you are healing yourself and building yourself up and rekindling that inner flame, that inner child flame, you know, like, then you do once again feel young again. And you're like, hey, it's a massive universe, you know, stars, galaxies, planets, the sun, mountains, oceans, you know, rivers, all these animals, everything, you know, it's so massive and it makes you wonder, you know, about other things, you know, bigger stuff than just, you know, working for $7 an hour at a burger place that you don't like, you know, you, sh- there's no way that that's it to life. You know what I'm saying? There's no way that you're going to allow yourself to believe that that's all you're worthy for and that that's all there is in life. There's no way, there's no way if you're 20, 21 years old, whatever age, and you think that that's it, and let's say you want to be here for a long time, there's no way you're going to just settle for that, you know? So, like, my point is, is, like, yeah, nature is what connects us all, honestly, and nature and love is, like, connected, and it honestly is, like, the last hope for humanity, to be honest with y'all, because that actually opens up people's imagination, you know, like it actually shows how grand and beautiful the universe actually is, you know, when you, I remember I went to the planetarium with my, my dad, or I want to, I forgot if it was just my, if it was both my parents or just my dad, bottom line is I went with one of them or both of them, you know, and we went to the planetarium and it so cool. And I remember my dad, he would always be on the telescope, you know, showing me stuff on the telescope at home too. We had our own telescopes and stuff like that. And, you know, it's cool. You know, you see that it's a big universe and it opens you up to a lot of questions about the world. You know, like, why is there school? Why is there vaccines? You know, why are there cigarettes? Why is there alcohol? You know, why is there clubs on this, you know, shaky kind of vibe? You know what I'm saying? Like, I've had a lot of questions. You know what I'm saying? A lot, for real, because 
once you finally stop with all this pain within and you really want to just put an end to that pain, and I'm not talking about no harmful thing. I'm only talking about uplifting, helpful, elevation, life, lively, great things, okay? That's what I'm talking about, the pain. And what I mean by that is taking the necessary steps to be responsible for your health and wellness, honestly. Like for me personally, I had surgery because I was getting so fat and clogged up and congested within my intestines that I ended up having to get a mesh patch for a hernia, you know? When in actuality, I didn't even need the surgery. Like I found out from my mentor, Dr. Sabi, all I had to do was just fast, like not even eat for a while or just drink smoothies and implement juices and stuff like that, you know? So like, whatever, I'm moving forward now. And I'm just saying like, you know, it's a massive universe and like, I'm just grateful to be taking care of myself, okay? Because some things we want to share and whatnot is like, it will take a whole lifetime to express. And that's why I'm in this whole thing for the long run. You know, I'm on YouTube for the long run. I'm on the right path of achieving a YouTube Gold Award. And, you know, I'm eternally free. And yeah, that's that. So like, you know, just dare to dream. You know what I'm saying? Like they talk, I just finished watching Infinite Water Drop Smart. Uh, he just uploaded a video about like the dream world, you know, saying the dream world and the real world. And, you know, the dream world is like, like it's real, you know what I'm saying? And the real world is, you know, is another thing in itself, you know what I'm saying? And it's kind of dope to see how it works in a way. And like, you know, like whenever you're alone in your own world and even when you're dreaming too, like it feels amazing. You know why? Because, you know, things are manifesting beyond your wildest, you know, (laughs) dreams and desires. Ha ha ha. Things are just like very like heightened, magical in a heightened sense. You know what I'm saying? And it can also happen in real life, too. I'm just saying, like, you know, our mind, our imagination, our dreams, all that stuff is fantastic because that's what keeps us alive. You know, I remember Einstein was saying that, like, you know, I remember you saying, like, our right side of our brain is for imagination and stuff. And, like, the left side is, like, for, like, boring stuff or whatever. I don't know. Anyways, like, the bottom line is imagination is amazing. You know, I'm a lefty. I write with my left hand, so they say that we are very creative and we are in our right brain a whole lot. And it's very rare, too, because I remember in school all the time, everybody was writing with their right hand. You know, every time I looked up in each class, there might have been either I'm the only one who's a left-handed person, a left-handed being student. Or there might have been just a sprinkle of others. And the majority were right-handed, are right-handed in this world, you know. And I don't know what it is. It's sensitivity. It's with the, it's connected to the heart, you know. They talk about, like, the... That's why in marriages, they talk about the left ring finger is connected to your heart. So that's why they put the ring on the left hand when you get married. I don't know. I don't know all this stuff, Okay. I'm just saying I'm a lefty, and it's rare from the experiences I've been in throughout this whole world and matrix, you know. And I'm aware there's plenty of stuff to learn. There's plenty of life to live and all that, okay? So, I don't know. I just felt like sharing that with y'all. This will manifest, and I am on to big things, for real. So, thank you to everybody that's been tuning in to me. I Y'all have been a great support, you know. Y'all do see I've been improving and healing and just evolving at astronomical rates, you know, so I get it, you know, one love, I'm cool with it, you know, I'm much, I'm down for one love, I'm open to all the love and wealth and money and abundance possible, you know, and at the same time also 
you know, when we come to our own place, our own space, you know, room, living situation, whatever, and we're able to like, you know, get with ourselves, touch, you know, check in with ourselves, touch base with ourselves, you know, we're able to like breathe, you know, and like affirm things or whatnot. And like for me, you know, I come in peace, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I have been angry or mad or pissed off in the world, you know? It doesn't mean it's me. It doesn't mean it defines me. It doesn't mean it is who I am today, you know? And I've learned how to, you know, become aware of these learning lessons to prevent anything further from happening ever again, you know? It doesn't mean I know it all. It's just they say wisdom is knowing the full extent of one's own ignorance, you know, and that's very powerful. So I feel like that they say that's why there's no accidents or coincidences in this universe, for real. Because, you know, the more our momentum is kicking up, the less and less we're over here, like, analyzing and overthinking stuff about the past. Of course, there might be some stuff that really stands out. And yeah, express that in a healthy way, you know, and at the same time, especially when you're going vegan and you're really spiritually synchronized and aligned and everything, like, you know, it's some powerful energy, you know, in the presence. That's why they say with great power comes great responsibility, you know, it's in the present, you know, and like, it's some wild stuff, to be honest, you know, when you're stepping into the unknown and everything. And at the same time, you know, I'm grateful to realize that I have freedom as my first birthright, you know, and like just enjoying that, the simplicity of that, you know, I may not have at all. And at the same time, we can flip that and say, I do have it all, you know, just by living a simple life. You know what I'm saying? For me to be able to have clean water, you know, to have a mean, have a car, to have a place to stay, you know, that I have a loan, you know, that I have rent paid for, you know what I'm saying? Like, those simple things mean a lot, you know, because a lot of times on the social media, on this technology and everything, you know, there's a lot of comparison, there's a lot of distractions, there's a lot of hype and hoopla and competition going on. You know, especially when you haven't really done a lot of that inner work, you may be caught up with those type of people and you know it doesn't feel right within you, you know. So that's why it's wise for us to really honestly detach and spend alone time to really, really, really feel well internally so that, you know, we're able to move forward. And just stay in our own path, you know. Super. Late night. Been a very productive day. You know how it is. So, at the end of the day, love and nature is like the last hope for humanity, honestly. All, I'm, well, I'm saying, I'm speaking personally from a man's perspective. All a man truly wants, all a man truly asks for and is willing to, you know, prepare themselves for is to have just a family, a harmonious, loving family, you know, for them to just work things out, you know, yeah, it it ain't like TV or the movies or fairy tale stuff, it can be just even more amazing because it will be real life, and when both people are able to just surrender and just to cooperate and work things out truly, then things can be so amazing, you know, and I guess that's supposed to come when it's supposed to come. It's just, I see it and I've been going through a whole lot of relationship training to prepare myself for this so-called one, you know, because I'm about it, you know what I'm saying? I see what's up, you know, I realize, hey, Love is all that matters in this world. You know, love is all that matters, honestly. 
And, you know, the rest is just built around it, honestly. And sometimes when you go through some deep, dark, lonely times, you really see what you're truly made of and you see you're able to sense out what other people are about. It doesn't mean you discriminate or you just put off a defensive front. It's just like, hey, stick to what resonates with you, you know, because only you are in control of your own life, you know, and that's liberating too, in a sense. And also, in a sense, you feel you're alone, you know, and it's more work, you know what I'm saying? Because anybody can just call it quits, you know, and just pack up and just give up on life, you know, and you see those people rotting behind bars, honestly, you know, and like, I'm grateful to be the hero of my story and to enjoy this eternal freedom. And I love to see other people rise, rise with me and raise the frequency and enjoy living an awesome life. It's eternal authenticity broadcasting live. Peace.